everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's video. You know, we're doing an Aston Martin. You might say, wow, Aston Martin, I see those all the time. No, you do not see those all the time. No, you do not see those all the time. And you definitely don't see them like this. First off, they only made around 400 of these. 400, right? They make 400 Toyota Camrys every 15 minutes. Think about that number for a second, right? Selling hundreds and hundreds of thousands of Toyota Camrys, just one model. These, 400 of them. Two owner car, driven less than 2,000 miles a year in a beautiful color combination. And still, the look of this car, man, is just pure British style. You say, well, do the British really have style in their cars? Well, let's run down that for a second and see. We have Rolls Royce, probably a pretty good looking car. Bentley, another great looking car. Aston Martin, another great looking car. Cataram, uh, uh, what else do we have there? We have Lotus, right? We go on and on. The British know how to make a good looking car. And that's what we're gonna look at here today. So a lot of times people say to me, hey, Tone, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why it's a great looking car. I wanna point out some of those things that why I think this one might be uh, a little better looking than some of the other sports cars you're looking at. It's a 2014, we're doing this video in 2024. So while it's 10 years old, it has super low miles and still looks amazing. All right, so we metered the paint here for authenticity, right? Factory paint on here, uh, it looks amazing. So part of the styling of this car and why it looks so good still is this, and a lot of people don't notice it, but I'm gonna point it out to you and you say, oh yeah, now I get it. This fender, this fender is really flat and wide for a long way because they make the hood a little more narrow and stretch the headlight up here, and then you have the LED stack here, right? This is why this looks so good and so sporty. Then you have this great looking hood with the vents here as well. Super nice looking grill, super, and this flying wing, the, the emblem is just fabulous. The color is beautiful, factory color to begin with, and then if you look inside, so we're looking through the windshield of the car, it has a cream interior, and the stitching inside matches the paint color of the outside. Little touch like that, when we get inside, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, most importantly is the quality of the paint. So if you're looking right now at this video, you can see the ceiling and the lights and things like that crystal clear in there, and that's important, because the better that sees, and is in detail, uh, the better uh, the paint quality is. And I just wanted you to be able to see that uh, because it looks so nice. All right, I like to show under the hood. You may own this car and you may never open the hood and that's fine, no big deal, because lots of people who buy cars don't really care about what's going on under here. However, you may go to a Cars and Coffee. You may want to uh, invite your friends to look at uh, what's under here. And there's some cool stuff under here that's important. So for instance, like these strut braces, for instance, keep the body and everything stiff, right? It keeps it stiff. So this is a convertible and convertibles in the past uh, can be a little loose. You don't get that feeling in this car here. This is a hand-built car. This is what it's done man this is why you're buying an Aston Martin right because it's hand-built and the person who uh, did the final inspection and did that Mr. Munir right his name is uh, right on this plaque in there it's one of my favorite things about an Aston and then more importantly like do we know if this car is original it's been in an accident here's some clues that tells us uh, that it has not been right for instance you can see uh, the original decals are still on the hood there if there was an accident the hood had to been replaced those decals are no longer there you can never get those but most importantly it's how how clean everything is in here. Like if you wanted to go to a car show and open the hood, it just looks really, really nice. Again, this part here, and this is the one other thing that a lot of people don't know is that why does a car handle well? That's because this car here is actually considered a mid-engine car. You say, Tone, the engine's in the front. How can it be in the back? Well, it doesn't have to be in the back to be mid-engine. What it has to be is this. Is This is the center line of the wheel here, okay? This is where, uh, so behind here is where the engine is. The engine's right here and it's behind the center line of the rear wheel. All of this up front here is for styling, believe it or not. And so that gives us that great handling because it's not hanging over a heavy front end and we get that, uh, that sharp feel that we look for so much when we get uh, a sports car like this. All right, so a lot of time is wrapped up in the styling of these cars, right? So in, molded in here is a rear wing instead of having me stacked on top of the, uh, the trunk. You know, remember these are 180 mile an hour cars. 
Uh, that's a pretty fast car. I try to get to be like one, like when I drive to work, maybe 175, 178. I never, ever push it to 180. Never do that. That's not me. I don't like to max stuff out. So maybe 170 on the way to work. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, uh, I turn these on because uh, this is a, the later version of these cars. They have some earlier ones with the 4.2 liter and they had some styling changes and some upgrades. This has a 4.7 liter. Uh, these might blink in the video. They're not blinking in real life. LED tends to do that in video. Um, it's got this grout and it's got a great grout too. And so also too, it has dual stage mufflers. So if you do want to put it in sport mode all the time and you like the softer suspension, but you like the, uh, the exhaust, you can actually take one of the fuses out of the fuse box, which will open up the valves of the exhaust all the time, but leave the suspension a little bit softer too. So you don't have to put it in sport mode each time. I know I'm repeating myself. I just wanted you to know that. Secondly, uh, it does have, believe it or not, a usable trunk. Um, and Aston Martin claims that this right here fits a golf bag. I uh, had somebody try one and it fit in there and it's nicely carpeted and nicely done. It's not a huge trunk, but you can throw some soft luggage in there, go away for the weekend. Um, and on top of it, just like little stuff, like a leather strap for closing the trunk. And this is all insulated here and in there and what have you, just the detail. And it just sounds so good when you close it. Before we get out of the way here and move into the interior, I just want to show you a couple things. First off, these are like a speed hump, which is cool, cool looking. But these right here are actually integrated roll bars. And so if the car was to tilt either way or whatever, this has yaw sensors and things like that, uh, these right here would pop up and help with the protection being in a convertible so that you'd have uh, very similar feelings of like having uh, a hard top. Secondly, this is a windscreen. It folds down. You don't have to keep it there if you don't want to, but most people don't know that the wind doesn't actually come in here at 60 or 70 miles an hour. It actually whips itself around and that's where it gets very windy. Having this in there kind of calms that down. All right, when you walk up to this car, you can't help but go, wow, that's a great looking car, because it really is. It's a fabulous looking car, and the likelihood of seeing one on the road is pretty slim. Think about the last time you saw an Aston Martin on the road, let alone a Vantage V8 convertible, right? Very rare. However, you're not going to spend all of your time outside. You're going to spend yourself in time inside, and when we do that, uh, we get to now see what makes an Aston Martin an Aston Martin. So... This is nice. This is a couple things that people don't know about these cars. You see the way the door goes up like this? It allows the door to open wider to get in and out, but go by going up that way. It's articulating door, and then it comes down. This right here, everything in the car is either leather or suede. This uh, A-pillar right here is covered in suede. Full leather covered door panels, dash, console, lids here, right? This beautiful wood uh, waterfall kind of thing here holds, what well, thing? Console holds uh, in place uh, the navigation system if you want it, okay? Uh, most people use their phones now, so that's up to you. You don't have to even have that open. It has a, a feature that you can disable that. Sport mode is right here. The drive, just click drive, or once you click the paddle, it becomes manual mode. So now you can drive this car in full manual mode, right? And it is fast, man. It's a, a, a quick shifting, so much better than the earlier versions. Sounds good when it's going down the road. And look inside, man. I mean, the two-tone interior with the cream and the blue carpets, the blue stitching that matches the paint, and the carpets here um, and of course you have every uh, thing you could possibly want from heated seats to lumbar uh, for people with bad backs uh, power everything that you could want stereo system is killer good and uh, that's why I love these cars they're a great buy they're good looking they're fast and they're comfortable to drive for long distances really really nice even these little visors uh, are super cute with the metal wrapped uh, mirrors that are there that's quality. All right, so we close up the video and we talk about a lot of the styling. We talked about, you know what we didn't talk about is how big the brakes are on here. The reason these cars have big wheels and tires, right, factory 19s, is because the brakes are enormous. They have to be 19s to fit in this giant brake rotor. And look at the size of that four piston caliper, right? Huge, absolutely huge. Um, more importantly, Maybe you don't take this car to the track. Maybe it's just a great car to drive like the other owners uh, have enjoyed this as well. Original MSRP of 130, almost $135,000 and selling for less than half that with like 
like baby miles on the car. This is the way to buy a, a sports car, exotic car, luxury car. Let someone else take the hit of depreciation. It's been serviced, it's just beautiful, it's well taken care of, it's been garaged and loved, and now it's time to, to help someone else get that too. So uh, if you need any more information about it, uh, you can look on Ask Insight or call us, because we know just a little bit about everything. Maybe we don't know anything about nothing, but we do know a little bit about this. So call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, Aston Martin Vantage V8. I just love that name, Vantage. Oh, what am I driving? I'm driving a Vantage V8. How you doing? All right. Um, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. That gets our message out. And if you would, share that with your friends. Maybe they would like the content and subscribe to the channel. We'll put new stuff out every day. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.